performance data comes up in discussions with other data management or data governance practitioners, we sometimes realize we mean different things, or we only overlap in our definitions 80% of the time. Within a data governance conversation, this seems a bit ironic. So what is reference data? First, let's look at why we should care. Why is reference data important? And it is important for these two main reasons. First, it's estimated that anywhere between 20 to 50% of the tables in a database house reference data. That's substantial. Second, the data quality issues of reference data will have a cascading effect in data analysis, reporting, and data integration. Now remember the saying, we cannot properly manage what we do not know. So we need to have a clear consensus to what reference data is. And before we do, I want to thank the sponsor for this video, Dataido. Dataido allows you to catalog, document, and understand your data, including reference data, with a data dictionary, a business glossary, and ER diagrams. If you use the following link, you'll benefit from a 10% discount on your purchase. The link is also in the video's description, so use it to boost your data and software initiatives today. So what is reference data? Reference data represents a set of permissible values associated with a distinct definition used within a system or shared between multiple systems in an organization, domain, or industry, which provides a standardized semantic to further categorize a data record. In layman's term, reference data is your status codes, your product codes, your flags and attributes, your lookup tables, categories, and so on. From an end user perspective, it's usually what you find in the drop down fields. How do you define reference data? Please feel free to contribute with yours or improve to the one I've mentioned above by commenting below or sending me a message. For more definitions, check out lightsondata.com. Here you can find more informative content such as templates and guides, best practices, articles, and other useful resources to help you with your data governance and data management questions and challenges. So please follow, subscribe, or sign up for the monthly newsletter to never miss out on great content. And don't forget to like and comment. Thank you.